Yeah. So I thank you guys both for being here. Um, sure. Lee and Kim, this is, this is an honor for you guys to be here. I thank you for inviting me to the showcase. I had a really good time uh, watching your films. So <laughs> you invited me to your showcase earlier this month in October, and I had a chance to see the detachment, uh, yeah. the masterpiece and the warehouse. Right. So um, those are the three films you guys were working on. But the, before I got to the films, I had to ask you a question because I was trying to do some research for this interview and I was trying to understand the name of your studio and I could not find anything that would tell me um, what the name of your studio meant. So can you can you all tell me what the, the story is behind that? So um, Director Lee and all the other four members were uh, working individually with him and he thought just five of us would be great would be a right group member of the gr group of members that we can do movie together okay so like-minded similar souls um we share a same vision and goal and stylistically we share things too the personal things professionally or privately we uh we are almost like-minded so everything we uh, say we mostly agree on it yeah Every, some things we disagree we mostly disagree so uh first day we gathered and say hello to each other and we uh did a like name dropping for our movie studio name so like the first guy uh through uh, through like, like trash trashy movie studio how about that yeah <laughs> and the second guy uh shitty studio how about that yeah in korean in korean yeah, yeah. you know that's nonsense but saxel is basically ha uh, two meanings one is the uh what is that the sp spear thing when you catch uh fish you know what it is right yeah the long yeah the stick to yeah. catch a fish yeah he, harpoon, harpoon, harpoon. Yeah, and the other meaning that's uh, uh like adjective. Uh, you you guys are nailing it. You guys are rocking it. Yeah. Okay. That's so. That's badass. That kind of thing. Okay. But, so now uh, now that, the now the harpoon or the spear going through the heart makes more sense. Now I get right. it. Right. Yeah. Thanks for asking. Yeah. The ideas for these films, where did those come from? Hmm. 재고 조사를 제외하고는 그냥 개인적인 경험 담아서 글을 그냥 썼다고 하면 되고 재고 조사 같은 경우는 알잖아요. 맞아. 우리 처음 만나서 뭐 할까 하다가 그냥 주고 받으면서 시나리오도 음. 없는 작업이었다고 해주신. 그렇죠. So right after we gathered in a month, we finish it, finish it, uh, even post production, uh, the the warehouse. So that happened almost spontaneously. Uh, when we were uh, having brainstorming, it was. Initially, my idea to throw something out, well, what if you are checking a, a warehouse and checking some boxes, but it's running out of uh, the numbers, are, numbers, are, numbers are not matching. So we're filling up with the body. So that was basically the idea. But other than that, other two films and basically the work process, um, it's his idea. Yeah, he's a director, and he writes stories to uh, the screenplay too. So, uh, other than the warehouse, it was all thorough writing and writing process, and then we brainstormed. Uh, but there was a firm uh, story from him, and well, he it's his personal stories basically. So he get ideas from maybe his surroundings first, his uh, rem his uh, recollections, memories, and it's very personal. It's very very personal. Oh, 중요한 거 있어요. Important thing. 네, 세계 작품단 글을 쓰기 전에 우리가 들어가기 전에 가장 먼저 생각한 건 장소였잖아요. 아, 장소를 쓸수 있다는 걸 알게 된 이후로 장소에 맞는 이야기를 썼었죠 우리가. So even before uh, writing the stories, what mattered really most was the location, the film set. Mm -hmm. I didn't say it's just location. So we just go there and for scouting and find it out. From there we started because uh, well, basically as a low low budget production team, we didn't uh, reserve that location for like paying or we just had it luckily. Yeah. So my my 
my father's or my, my uncle's. Yeah, something that we could just make use of for between families. From there, we started even before that. What was it about, especially like the detachment? What is it about zombies film specifically that you think speaks to human nature? After we're done with uh, the masterpiece, we had the uh, the warehouse, the location that was set. That was uh, we we had it. We, we were free to shoot anytime. And the the main character Hayoung, remember him, right? The mm-hmm. our act, one of the actors. He asked him just uh, out of nowhere, "How about zombie movies?" After him watching uh, the film called "What We Do in the Shadows." Mm. Okay. So that was yeah that really ignited everything up. From there, he got he got something like lighting stuck, mm. and wow, I have something. So hold on for a few days, and after after a while, he came with. Yeah, 그, pretty much everything, every concept. Yeah, 그 아이가 something이라는 것이 저 초등학교 2학년 때의 인간 관계라고 생각, 친구와의 관계라고 얘기해요. 아, 그렇죠. Because it was, uh, I, I told you it was personal, right? It was his uh, memory, his recollection from uh, when he was second grade in his elementary school. Things like that happened between friends. Mm-hmm. Him and the other friend went to actually went to Japan and came back a little. Uh, Few years later, but it was it was it wasn't like before, but back then it was really uh they were really close, mm-hmm. so he got the initial idea from his personal memories and um yeah it translated as a uh like two men and zombie uh that's that's a, that's a settings but it's from there. Um, what I liked about that one is as compared to the other two is very serious. Um. What was fun about the masterpiece and the warehouse is the the way that you guys were able to balance the horror and the comedy elements of that. And I, in in my estimation, as a as a novice, as someone who knows nothing really about you all's field, that seems like a really hard thing to balance. How did you guys manage to do that? 이거를 위해서 저는 그렇게 막 고민 많이 안 해본 것 같아요. 그러니까 자 그냥 자연스러운 거라고 보면 될것 같은데 아하. 계산적으로 하진 않았다고. 그쵸, 그쵸. 음. To uh, we didn't uh, he didn't do anything or we didn't do anything to find a balance. It was 음. just natural for us to bring. So we are all like-minded, right? We uh, gathered idea and when you're brainstorming and this came out, that came out. You know, I told you uh, when you're brainstorming for uh, our uh, name studio name like. Sh- Trash movie studio, studio. Yeah. We have, we all have some jokes inside. We're humorous guys, and the the horror movie is an element, but we all have some uh the humorous comedy inside. So I think it was pretty natural process to add those kind of elements. If you find it really uh balanced, it's a big compliment to us because we just did it naturally. Didn't thought about it. Think about it. 그렇죠. 음. Actually, there there was uh in a technical side finding the balance because we kind of overdid it by adding uh funny sound effects or uh or music uh, during the conversation in the masterpiece. That was a little bit of like slapstick things too, but in the post post production we just all got rid of it because okay. it was overdoing it basically. Okay, um, and so going back to the masterpiece, I remember um, Yudoxio. Is that? I apologize if I'm saying his name correctly. Uh, Yudoxio. Um, yes, he was his He's ability. Right. Yes, his ability to go from like manic to serious um was so impressive that and i felt bad because the way that he was acting the way he was able to just vacillate between the two so well i was laughing out loud um when he would go between these moments and i felt bad i'm like am i supposed to be laughing no one else was laughing um <laughs> but and when i say that like my laugh was very loud and so other people were probably giggling i would just, I, I laugh very loud uh he was incredible 
So that was a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed that. I, I think I enjoyed that one the most just because of his ability to go from serious to funny uh, in just such a very quick manner. Like their conversation about the Polaroids, um, like that, that absolutely killed me. So it was fun. It was, it was a lot of fun. Did you realize in the Polaroids, one of the naked guys me, right? Did you realize? No, that? I didn't know. <laughs> one of the naked guys me. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So now, now everybody knows. Like, no, I, I had no idea. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, so, and I know you were one of the bodies in the warehouse as well, right? Or the body. Yeah, you were the body in yeah. the warehouse. Yep. I was the body. <laughs> and the naked guy. Yeah. He did, There's some um, good from credits. Man- from manic to serious, full send. And I think... Uh, there's a reason why the masterpiece is doing great, being a really having a great result, and especially in North America, because the conversation, uh, is is basically uh what English speaking uh culture or uh maybe I would say a Western culture, they like it, and uh in Korea I think after uh maybe 2018 2019. We start to like talk about it, those um, those ironies. But yeah. you know, we all like we we all uh pursue those uh a culture when when even when you're young. He used to uh, listen to pop punk all the time. You know, I learned music from uh the the rocker guy first back in two thousand two, and I was a uh, full like Nirvana fan and like musically too, culturally too. And we just love those uh, humor. You know, in Korea, there's a, the, you know, all humor humor is different by uh, language has to do with it. The culture has to do with it. And we just love those kind of humor just naturally. So yeah. we just put it that way. And But I know some Korean audiences didn't get the niche or get the point. For example, what, the point that you, the while you were laughing, there are not much people laughing, so. But you know, it's it's fine. It's just fine with us. Yeah, we meant it. So. Okay. okay, good. One of the the um behind the scenes that I saw you all do was the song "Devil Eyes." It was "Devil Eyes." Is that the name of it? Can you tell me about how you decided that would be the song for this? It was a lot of fun watching you play. I'm going to have to ask you to teach me how to play that song. Uh, Yeah, thanks. So first, music question, genuinely, because all we had uh, three times for the showcase, right? But there was regrettably uh, no music question to me. So I was kind of bored, you know, one sound question from my friend, and it was all mostly about the uh, performance uh, stories for directors. But thanks for asking, first of all. And what is it about? Right. So we finish the film, uh, the music to uh, for, uh, I would say uh, drones, drones, because it's not entirely uh, maybe uh, scores. It was most like drones mm-hmm. and the Foley sounds. And after that, uh, the the for the when when the credits roll, we need a we need a music, the definitive music that explains this film. But I, so Jasmine, the singer, the singer songwriter, songwriter, and me will we, will um, longtime friends. She's American, and we while we're in the studio, we talked about uh, what would be good for this film. What song should we write? And there was one song that she wrote back when back in her uh, college years, early college years. And we uh, swapped some ideas, the perspectives to match the story to this film because it was just fit, just fitting great. But it's not entirely explaining this, uh, like straight, straightforward explaining this movie because it's very, uh, um, it's not straight. It's implying something. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it, it could sound like a love story, but, it's not entirely so I, I love the vagueness too 
And I love that energy that she could bring. She's she's pretty weird, though. <laughs> If I say it, she might be mad. But she's, yeah, she's a geek. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we recorded it. And after even during the recording process, Director Lee wasn't sure oh, about the direction that we were going. Will this fit to the masterpiece? Because it doesn't sound like it. But after that, after everything was finished, from my end, production and the mixing too it was just right there yeah for the yeah. right time right moment whenever he uh as soon as he uh do this and the credits roll it just right there and make making the right vibe and that was basically our det uh, intention and it's really the what is it about and you know only the music video extends it extends the universe sure yeah okay um so in terms of that so this is going to be a, a music question as well as a director question sure. for you all what are the cinematic influences that you all have so um kim you already talked about the fact that the the music wasn't necessarily always a score some of it was droning what are you looking at that's already out there in cinema that kind of inspires you or influences you um And then Lee, same question from a director's perspective. I know you were drawing a lot on your own personal experiences, but was there anything out there in cinema that you looked at and you're like, oh, okay, I, that's something I really enjoy and really like? So influence one of uh, the 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 uh, actor Zoo, the the main main character in the, in the warehouse. He was out there to buy the the prop which is a radio right it was out there but it, it was in the market the, like a vintage market the vintage market was playing the, one of the music awesome. that was uh like early korean style of trot you know what it is mm -hmm. right yeah trot so back then my fir my first um reference or inspiration was tango for the warehouse <laughs> yeah oh. no i'm doing that uh like acrobatic things so I, i thought tango might fit so my initial uh the music i wrote it was tango but he listened he heard that uh music the trump music when in the vintage market and he told me this might be a great idea and we just had our light, lightning struck too but we didn't want to do the the, the popular trot in korea right now as of right now it's, it's being really popularized the style is a little different but we wanted something something um cinematically vintage so mm -hmm. we were going up to the root and there's a genre called enka from japan do you know have you heard of it no so, i haven't Yeah, something that you hear, uh, you hear it in the movie Kill Bill. Okay. Yeah. So, Enka is a genre. It's a predominant, predominantly in Japan and some Taiwan too. And I had a like a Taiwanese singer singing a Japanese Enka as an initial reference, and that was that was really fitting. So my guitar playing. Was actually from there, but we didn't want to do the exact thing. Of course, we wanted something esoteric, always. So we, um, so I, when something that I was just naturally feeling it, so it turned, it came out, not entirely and not even trot, not even something. So you, at you initially, uh, described as a surf music. I remember yeah. that, right? Yeah, yeah. It it kind of has. Of surf music too but it's not entirely something decisive you know, in terms of genre so i just put it uh soundtrack and that was it yeah okay. i didn't i don't know i still don't know so that process proved me of uh, proved proved him proved me proved me to him um uh, that uh he just uh leave everything ev everything music to me and i could do i could do it so devil eyes even if he was in doubt 
he believed in me, so I did it, and it worked out. And you know the uh, the detachment, there are eight scores there, but I just did it, uh, pretty much spontaneously too. What I was feeling it, and it was just right there. My cinematic influence for technical thing would be Dune for the detachment. Okay. So I watched it, Dune and uh, Dolby Cinema in Korea. And the it was mesmerizing, first of all. And that, uh, the awe, the cinematic awe, I was, well, it was a technical thing too, because that sound system is subliminal, you know. But I wanted to convey those kind of uh, cinematic um, awe and satisfaction into the detachment. And it's musically different, but you will know technically what I'm saying. You 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 watch it too, so. Yeah, I want to say thanks. I really appreciate you guys spending this time with me. Um, I really hope that your films do well in the circuit, so you guys can get popularized and get your own distribution, so that I can f- recommend these films and everyone see them because um, they're a lot of fun. I think they're really fun. I think they're really well done. So congratulations to both you and your team. You appreciate it um, much. Thank you very much for coming enjoying and this uh interview uh yeah everything for everything we thank you thank you